You might be putting drinkable water into your RV tank, but it's hot in there and it's dark and things are probably lurking that can make you sick. So you really should disinfect your fresh water tank every six months, but it sounds like a big job. It doesn't have to be. Today I'm gonna to share with you a hack that I use to do it at least twice a year. Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV. Now, if you know my channel, you know that usually I'm out boondocking, which means I don't have access to a hookup that you would get in an RV park, like access to city water and to a sewer line. Now, right now, I happen to be in an RV park. I got stuck here for a while, more on that soon. But I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of being here because I have access to a dump into water to go ahead and disinfect my tank. And while I'm here, I'm going to go through another hack that's going to clean off the sensors inside my tank. That video will come out next week, so if you haven't subscribed already, please do, and then hit the little bell for notifications. This is the control panel in my RV. You guys can see that I have had half a tank of fresh water sitting in the sun without being used for like two months now. It's going to be gross, and so I'm going to go disinfect it right now. Essentially, you can disinfect your tank with some bleach. Now you want to look at your manual to see how much bleach you're supposed to add. In general, it's about a quarter cup of liquid bleach for every 16 gallons that you have of fresh water tank. For my size tank, I need about three cups of liquid bleach, but I don't like to carry around big things of liquid bleach. They smell, they're heavy, and they can spill. I've had rigs where I had to siphon up the bleach, and I've had rigs where I could pour it into the fresh water tank. Both weren't easy until I discovered this. These are concentrated bleach tablets. You can get them at Walmart. Essentially, 16 tablets equals one gallon of liquid bleach when you dissolve it in water. Doing it this way, you don't need to siphon bleach into your system or have a fresh water fill. See, these things turn into liquid bleach when they're added to water. So you just drop them in to your hose dry, reattach your hose to your water source, turn on the water, and it creates liquid bleach that goes into your tank. Now I could get into the fractions and actually try and split this bad boy up. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and round up to four cups of liquid bleach that I need to disinfect my tank. So I'm going to need four of these little pucks. The first thing I'm going to do for the fresh water tank is I'm going to go ahead and drain out all the water that's in there. I'm lucky on my grand design because all I have to do is switch these right here and it dumps out all of my existing fresh water onto the ground. I've refilled the fresh water tank. I'm just gonna do that because I have access to the water. I'm gonna flush it through the pipes by running it out every single faucet in the house. When that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and refill it with the bleach. Clearly, I'm almost out of this fresh water, but my tank sensor still reads three quarters full. When I'm camping, I don't wanna think I have three quarters of a tank of water and I'm really almost empty. That's why disinfecting your tanks and cleaning your sensors is important. Bleach, funnel, hose. Four tablets, which makes essentially four cups of bleach for my 100 gallon tank. The bleach tablets are now dissolved in the freshwater tank which is full, so now I'm going to let it sit for three hours and then drain it. Now it's tempting to leave the bleach in there for a really long time because you might think it's just doing a better job. The problem with this is that it can wreck your seals. If you really want to go the extra step and you have the resources to do it, go ahead and drive around with the bleach water in your tank and then empty it. I don't have the luxury of doing that this time, so I'm just going to put in the bleach and let it sit. And here's a quick tip. If your tank is going to be empty while you're doing this for any length of time, turn off your water heater so it doesn't get destroyed. Okay, the bleach water has been sitting inside of my fresh water tank for about three hours. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that bleach water up through all my lines, through all my faucets, to make sure that those lines are also disinfected. And when that's done, I can dump the dirty bleach water out my gray tank into the sewer line. Because I have access to the water, I'm going to go ahead and fill up the fresh water tank two or three more times and run it through the lines and then dump it until I don't smell bleach anymore. 
Now my freshwater tank is full of clean, fresh water that I actually want to drink, but I do go the extra step and run it out my faucet and then put it into a Berkey. If you guys aren't familiar with the Berkey, it's like the best water filter system you can get. A lot of our viewers have it. It takes some time to go through the Berkey, but it actually filters out even more. So if I miss something, it makes the water that much better. If you guys want to see a link to the one I have, I have the travel size one. You can see it down pinned to the top of comments in my gear list. Easy, right? Disinfecting your freshwater tank does not have to be hard. Remember to come back next week because I'm going to show you three different ways that I clean the sensors inside of all my tanks. Until then, I hope you're all having happy travels out there. And be free.